Quebec gets cozier as the winter nights grow longer. The Christmas market is said to be one of the most splendid in northern Germany. It's also a tourist magnet. Traditional items like sweets and mulled wine are enjoyed by visitors and locals alike. It's beautiful, isn't it? And the lights alone are fantastic. It brings people closer again. It gets people chatting with each other. Lübeck's old city has real flair. It's there to indulge in. The city's trademark, the Holsten Gate, dates back to the 15th century and is the western entrance to the old town. Lili Roder grew up in Lübeck and lives in the city center. I've never been able to find another place like Lübeck's historic part of town. It's very unique. You have the salt warehouses and these little buildings everywhere. The narrow streets and passageways where you have to bend over, plus the courtyards. It's very, very beautiful. Lübeck's old town is a UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site. Many of its medieval buildings have remained intact. Back then, the town by the Baltic was a member of the Hanseatic League and one of the most important trading centers of Northern Europe. Today, some 210,000 people live here. Lübeck's best-known export is marzipan. Konditorei Niederrega has been making the confectionery since 1806. The recipe for its sugar and almonds-based treats has remained unchanged for seven generations. Marzipan from Lübeck is enjoyed around the world today. No one would guess it comes from here. Being in the Hanseatic League meant all the raw materials were available. That's why Lübeck is the home of marzipan, because the ingredients certainly aren't local. They all came in as ships' cargoes from the trade routes and could be processed here. The city also has a thriving cafe scene that has given the world marzipan cakes. Lübeck is a town where there are lots of cafes. Naturally, there are very large mainstream locations and even restaurants. But Lübeck is also a city where you can find really individual cafes. The Hanseatic town has held on to its own northern charm. For centuries, the city has also been an inspiration to artists. Nobel Prize winning author Günter Grass has lived here for years. And the authors Heinrich and Thomas Mann were born here. An entire house in the old town is dedicated to Thomas Mann, the Budenbrooks house, named after the autobiographical family saga that won Mann the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1929. These rooms were the focal point of the house for Heinrich and Thomas Mann's grandparents. The novel is set here. We say it's like a novel you can walk into. You pick up a book here, look around, and are transported into the 19th century, right into the novel Buddenbrooks. It reflects the Mann's family story and is likewise set in this city. Lübeck's narrow streets are still dominated by local family-run businesses and not by big chains. This is Höchststraße, one of Lübeck's prettiest streets. I even lived here for a while. It's a very comfortable, small and special street. The delightful Höchststraße in the heart of Lübeck's old town and in the run-up to Christmas, a treat in itself for visitors. 